Philadelphia is a heartless city. The streets of Philly have no sympathy, no remorse, and no rules. The streets of Philadelphia will chew you up just as fast as it spits you out. The streets talk. They whisper. They tell stories. Stories of men and teenagers who are oftentimes not here to tell it themselves. That's where we step in. These are the stories of the streets of Philadelphia. Philly Wiki. The harmony between Tasker and 27th Street came to an abrupt halt when tragedy struck at a dollar party in 2004. Tuan, a resident of 24th Street, was engaged in a verbal altercation with Glock from Tasker. Fueled by anger, Glock and two accomplices ambushed Tuan as he entered the party, resulting in his untimely demise. Tuan's older brother and his associates unleashed a retaliatory shooting spree on Stanley Street in a quest for retribution. The violent clash left two individuals injured and marked the beginning of a cycle of bloodshed that would persist throughout the years. During this tumultuous period, Malik Upchurch met his unfortunate fate, becoming the first significant casualty in the brewing war. Quote from the newspaper. An arrest warrant has been issued for Jermaine King, 20, of the 3100 block of Tasker Street, said Detective John Keene of the Homicide Fugitive Division. Police arrested Aleem Williams, 17, and charged him with murder of Malik Upchurch on July 7. End quote. In the wake of Malik's death, Tyrig Upchurch transformed into a relentless force, consistently targeting Tasker in pursuit of vengeance. His relentless campaign involved daily barrages of gunfire aimed at their block, 31st and Tasker, sending a clear message of his unwavering determination. However, Tyreek's reign of terror was cut short when he was apprehended and incarcerated. Malik from 27th Street also played a significant role in perpetuating the animosity between the factions. Offering substantial bounties, he put a price of $10,000 on the heads of SB, Dame, and Khalid, further fueling the flames of this bitter feud. In an unfortunate turn of events, Quill from 31st Street fell victim to a meticulously planned ambush. Observing his routine, an assailant patiently waited for Quill to leave his residence, trailing him for 90 minutes until the opportune moment arose. The attack unfolded on the 49th and Gray's Ferry Bridge, as the perpetrator approached the side of Quill's Uber, indiscriminately opening fire and inadvertently injuring the innocent driver. The saga of betrayal and revenge between Tasker, 27th Street, and 24th Street paints a chilling portrait of a community plagued by violence, grief, and the insidious pursuit of power. Once upon a time in the streets of Philadelphia, a generational gang thrived. The group was divided into three age categories, 28 and older, 27 to 21, and 21 and younger. The oldest faction had been engaged in a long-standing war with the notorious 13th and Saigon Street Gang. However, this rivalry primarily involved representatives from 21st, 20th, and some members from 18th Street. The younger generation observed this animosity, which stemmed from the beef their older counterparts had inherited. As time passed, the landscape of small side began to change. Gentrification forced many original residents to relocate, scattering the older gang members throughout the city. Some were incarcerated, while others had sadly met their demise. Those who remained tried to adapt and continue living their lives. Small side, also known as Across the Track, extended from Catherine to Washington Avenue, spanning from 16th to 25th Street. However, it's important to note that not everyone from across the track was affiliated with small side. The emergence of new affiliations had reshaped the dynamics of the area. Meanwhile, the younger generation found themselves entangled in a fierce rivalry with 243. These clashes formed a new chapter in small side's history, further fueling the ongoing tensions and violence. 
The history of Across the Tracks had always seen various neighborhood conflicts. From 25th to 24th, 24th to 23rd, 23rd to 22nd, 21st to 20th, 20th to 18th, and 18th to 16th, these divisions define the territorial boundaries. However, given the tight-knit nature of South Philly, familial ties often interconnected these communities. Before the feud between 13th Street and Smallside took center stage, battles were fought amongst the different groups across the tracks. Notable among these was the intense conflict between 22nd Street and 243. The Son of Hawk Bay became a victim in this war when he was caught in the crossfire due to his association with Lil Nizzy, a primary target of the opposing faction. Nizzy hailed from South Philly, specifically 24th Street. He had temporarily relocated to the Southwest before returning to his roots in South Philly. Another significant event in Smallside's history was the alleged killing of a member from 243 by a perpetrator associated with 16th Street. Philadelphia police are looking to identify three gunmen as well as a passenger. They say were involved in a deadly shooting earlier this month in Grays Ferry. The shooting played out back on July 3rd, the 1200 block of South 24th Street. Video shows that white Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo occupied by at least four people drive up to the victim as he was walking to a corner store nearby. That Jeep can be seen coming to a stop as a passenger in the back gets out from the vehicle and opens fire. The driver and front seat passenger can also be seen shooting at the victim through the window of that car. As is the case with all homicides, the city of Philadelphia now offering a $20,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. The motive behind this act was traced back to the mere shooting where the attack served as the driver. It was believed that this made him a prime target for retaliation. The streets of South Philadelphia were fraught with rivalries, generational conflicts, and a rich tapestry of histories intertwined. Each turn of events left the community on edge, awaiting the next chapter of violence and intrigue. Smallside and the notorious 13th Street Gang, led by the enigmatic Saigon. The conflict ignited with a shocking incident, the cold-blooded murders of Beans, a respected figure from Smallside, and Ra Ra, another veteran from the same gang. Retribution was swift as Smallside sought revenge for the loss of their brethren. In a calculated act of retaliation, they targeted Nell, a member of Saigon, triggering a violent war that would span five long years. The streets ran red with blood as the two factions clashed in a relentless battle for supremacy. However, fate took an unexpected turn when Mir and Issa, influential figures from small side, found themselves incarcerated, forcing a temporary ceasefire. Though the truce had been declared, the wounds inflicted during the war between Saigon and small side refused to heal completely. Meanwhile, tension simmered elsewhere in the streets. Emi, a member of small side, became embroiled in a bitter feud between 243rd and 16th Street. A single act of violence, when Sean shot Lil Nizzy. At the heart of it all stood Ja Ja, a rising figure from Smallside. Hailing from the tumultuous junction of 21st and 20th Streets, he had emerged under the tutelage of Mir and Issa. Ja Ja's original comrades abandoned him, leaving him isolated and vulnerable. Fueled by abandonment and a thirst for revenge, Ja Ja became the catalyst for the escalating madness consuming the streets. The tragic death of Reese, a cherished member of Smallside, shook the already volatile landscape. As the streets of North Philly sought vengeance for the killing of B. Cole, the war escalated further. In the ensuing chaos, the assailant responsible for Reese's murder found himself on the receiving end of a retaliatory bullet. Miraculously, he survived, but the cycle of violence showed no signs of abating. In the realm of blood-soaked streets and shattered loyalties, the gangs of small side grappled with their past, present, and uncertain future. The stakes grew higher with each passing day, as alliances shifted, betrayals ran deep, and the thirst for power and revenge consumed them all. Caught in the crossfire were the innocent souls, their lives forever altered by a world driven by violence and desperation. And as the streets continued to bleed, 
The question remained, who would emerge victorious from the smoke and chaos, and who would be left to pick up the shattered remnants of their lives?